Hello, first of all, welcome to my video and thank you for clicking on it. My name is Graphics and this video is for the beginner's tutorial for Sony Vegas 8 Pro Edition. Before I start this video, it, this video is for beginners, so if you already know the basics, there's no point in watching it really, so you might as well just not watch it. Alright, first of all, um, you want to open a video or audio file on Sony Vegas 8 because that's literally what it's for. So you want to go to File on the top left hand corner, Open, and just choose whatever video or audio file from your document. Just like this. Okay, once you've opened your file, it should come up on the timeline down here. And first of all, I'm just going to show you how to split a clip. So, um, that's just my clip, so I'm just going to use this for the video. Right, basically, splitting a clip divides a clip or audio so you can have two separate clips and do as you please with them. So you can like drag them, delete them, move them into a different timeline, save them separately, anything really like that. So I'll show you how to do that. Right, Base, uh, the easiest way to do this is click an S on the keyboard. So you want to move the um, bar on the timeline to where you want to split your clip. And you click S on the keyboard and it should split into two different parts. Just like this, I'll just show you how to do that. Right, as I told you before, you can delete the clip like this. You can drag the clips anywhere you want along the timeline. Okay, then let's move on to the second thing, which is reversing your clip. Right, okay, so once you split your clip or you have a normal clip, you can actually reverse your clip. All you have to do is right click on what bit you want to reverse, and it should come up saying reverse. Just click reverse, and it should just make it go backwards, so exactly as you want. So that should be about right. You right click, click on reverse, and it should come up. Um, it should come up with the this should come up with a little arrow, backwards arrow, and that means it's just reverse the clip. So that should work. Okay. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you how to do is pan and crop your clip. So once you have your video on your actual timeline, you on the right of your video or clip it should have the um three cursors. Uh you want to pick the one in the middle, which is if you just hover your mouse over it should say pan and crop. Click on that and it should come up the screen for pan and cropping. Alright, once you've done that, the screen's up now. Um, there should be a big square surrounding your clip with F in the middle. The big F in the middle. What you want to do is go, there should be a timeline at the bottom, which is the keyframe timeline. You want to move the bar right to the end. And then, you want to make your, if you, if you want to zoom into your clip, you want to make the square with the F in, uh, in the middle. You want to make that smaller if you want to zoom into the clip. And press plus, and then click X, and it should have done it for you. If you want to make this, uh, if you want to zoom out on, oops, zoom out of the clip, you want to make the square bigger, and then at the end of the keyframe, plus, press plus, and then press X on that, and that should have done it as well. So let's just so okay. Once you've done that, and you know where you want to, it to zoom into. Once you made the box bigger, to add it to your keyframe, the plus button is just below the timeline. Um, so that's it. And that also works for text everyone, so remember that for text. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is how to put text on your video, audio, track, whatever you're going to make. Right, first of all, right click on your timeline, insert video track. Then, you want to right click on your top bit of your timeline, and then click insert text media. Then what should happen is it comes up with the this screen right here. Just wanna, it comes up with sample text, so just edit your text. Choose whatever font you want. Then, if you go along to effects, you can change the color, the feather, and everything. That shouldn't be hard, too hard to work out. So that's that really. Once you're done, um, once you're done, just click X, and it should come up really. Uh, that's mainly it for text. You can use pan and crop for that as well, which I've already shown you. So just use that for pan and crop. So that's basically it really for text. Right, the last thing I want to show you how to do is how to get the best quality for YouTube. So, instead of saving your Sony Vegas Pro 8, you want to click on File, Render As, and I've just got this already for me anyway, so 
the e quickest and easiest way to do this hold on is um you want to choose whatever file you want to call it put it in any folder you want to put it in but you want to save as type window windows media v9 wmv which should be at the bottom template should be free mbps video and at the bottom there should be boxes you want to tick all the only ones you want to tick are stretch video to fill output frame size and save project markers in media file click a save okay so you're, gonna, you're now going to want to let it render for a bit okay depending on your computer speed it varies what how long it takes to render so um, Oh, my computer takes about half an hour to render video, it's about five minutes long, so anything short is going to take a short amount of time, anything long is going to take a longer amount of time, and that's basically it for rendering. So, okay, I'm sorry to say that we've come to the end of my video on basic, tutor basic tips tutorial for Sony Vegas 8 Pro, so um, I will be making some new videos soon, this is only my first video, so please subscribe to my page, look at my page, I've got some Gears of War videos on there too, have a look at them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.